Hey everybody. So uh, Christy uh, is being a real trooper here because we just stumbled upon this great fishing location on IOP, which stands for Isle of Palms people. Isle of Palms, right here in Charleston, South Kakalaki. So we've got all of our trout, flounder, redfish, whatever fish is biting rigs set up. All right, y'all, uh, I'm going to give y'all just a little bit of narrative here. Uh, when I'm fishing, I tend to be kind of in the zone and boring, but I started by throwing out a, a 3 8 you know, ounce jig with a Berkeley Gulp shrimp. Can't really go wrong with that. And I was reeling it in because I was done, and you'll see that I get a hit right here. Just I was totally just reeling it in. So then I decided to throw on a casting uh, spoon, um, more of a uh, metal, you know, throwing it out because I thought it was like a bluefish or a Spanish. So this inlet that we stumbled upon was awesome. Uh, perfect environment for holding all types of species of fish. Deep water, access out to the open ocean right there. Um, it had moving water with, you know, the, it was high tide and it was outgoing, so it was going to low tide. And just tons of schools of fish all around us. Um, and give away where I was, I was in between Isle of Palms and Sullivan's Island. There's a little inlet there, and for anybody who's looking for a good fishing trip, this place is the bomb. So the casting uh, spoon um, wasn't having too much luck on that, so I decided to flip back to my uh, Berkeley Gulp with the jig head and go to the uh, calm side of the jetty um, where it was the water was kind of eddying around uh, where the tide was, you know, going out and. Um, I saw, started seeing a bunch of schools of bait and fish, and um, so I just decided to throw out my plastic and bounce it across the bottom. Uh, really, I was targeting flounder, but I ended up stumbling upon a school of red drum, and I got into them. So this was the first little puppy drum that I uh, caught and again at first I thought it was a flounder because it gave me uh, a little you know hit and I just kept bouncing it thinking that it was ambushing my bait um, and before I reeled it up uh, I was you know pretty surprised that it was a little puppy drum so um, for my next uh, like five casts I actually uh, was about four for five uh, getting into a school of the puppy drum. So again, just the uh, setup that I was using was a pen battle two uh, combo setup with a uh, orange three eight ounce uh, gotcha uh, jig head and a Berkeley gulp three inch uh, shrimp. And um, I'll tell you what, uh, whatever it was about the color combination, uh, the Berkeley Gulp doing its magic, um, but it paid off. Uh, that was the go-to uh, lure option. So these guys were literally just picking it up right off the rocks. Um, again, tons of schools of bait were just swimming right around this jetty. Um, you'll see them kind of intermittently throughout the video, but 
they were literally right off the rocks and it was like clockwork each time that you know i would just bounce my bait and i would just flip it out um you know just probably a 20 you know short yard cast and um you know just make sure that it was well presented and it was paying off So obviously these fish were by no means bull drum, but uh, I don't care. Uh, this was a blast uh, catching these, and when you get into a school of puppy drum, um, be prepared because it's game on. Uh, you know, again, I was, you know, cast after cast just uh, catching these guys. So I was just making sure that I could uh, maximize my uh, fish catching potential by, uh, you know, um, just picking these guys up right off of the rocks, right where they were. And just so y'all don't think that I'm lying, I'm going to let this clip play through and let you, and just let y'all see that it literally was, I was releasing the fish and, um, you know, just casting that Berkeley gulp shrimp back out and there they were back on it again. have Christy trekking through the treacherous rocks. This is black diamond people, double black diamond hiking. Beautiful. And just for good measure, uh, one of my uh, last uh, catches of this short little fishing session uh was you know kind of what i had originally came out there to target just right off the rocks um thought that it was uh on the rock didn't know um if it was a fish or not and it ended up being a flounder hey chill out Cool. 